You mentioned a, a treadmill epiphany. Please tell me that story. What happened? This is an idea I just had on a treadmill at a gym in August of 2016. And coming up on five years, we've now treated 18 million people. And, and the number keeps growing. And my thought was, if we organize the demand side of the equation, the people who actually buy this stuff and capitalized and started up a not-for-private manufacturing company that would act in the interests of, of the broader market, you know, we could do something special. And that's where the idea for a nonprofit generic drug company came about. So the mission of Civica is really simple. It's to ensure that essential medicines are available and affordable to everyone. Tell me, if you would, about this world-class team that you have put together who have taken your epiphany and turned it into something so tangible that it's having real-world effects. Well, Martin was one of the early people I met in this process and really was at the top of the field. And, and when I met him, he had started his career in, in generics manufacturing at Abbott Laboratories and had watched with dismay the market for, for sterile injectables and other generics begin to degrade and, and put patients at risk. And it really bothered him. And we started developing this business model with, with other healthcare systems and other experts but Martin was right at the heart of it, and he said, this isn't about me or making money. This is about solving a national issue. And uh, he gave us a six-month month commitment, and it's coming up on three years, and he is, he is just marvelous. And what he has done is he brought a world-class team from pharma, and these guys are experienced people. And you go down the list, they know what they're doing. We thought it would take us, Eric, honestly, five years to get five drugs on the market. And we are not even three years in, and we have 51 and growing. Who are the, 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 the people who are part of the governance team? What we wanted to build is an organization that truly was owned by nobody, and yet owned by everybody. So our company, Civica, is organized as a Delaware non-stock, non-profit corporation. There is no ownership in the organization. We wanted to organize this as a, as a common asset for the country. And what we hard-coded into the bylaws of the organization is that Civica, number one, it would take a unanimous vote of our board to ever convert it to anything but a non-stock, non-profit corporation. The other thing we hard-coded into the bylaws is that everybody can join and everybody gets the same deal. So whether you're a new hospital joining us today or you've been like Mayo Clinic and Intermountain at the very start, you get this exact same per unit price. We're trying to solve this issue collectively for patients across the country. We want this organization to be around 50 years from now, making sure these medicines are, are, are available for regular people. And uh, so we're building for the long run with a governance model that really aligns around the patient, putting the patient first. And really, this is just the beginning. You have both private and public sector investing in this. Tell me a little bit about that. When BARDA approached us and said, we're very concerned about the national security issues related to how much dominance China has over our, our drug supply chain. Will you partner with us? We, of course, said yes. I mean, we, we care about this country. We care about its security. And they've just been a wonderful partner. We're really excited to repatriate drug manufacturing to the United States because we can do it efficiently and we can do it at a low cost. But we can do it also in a way that, that protects us against future disruption. And Civica and Martin has really instilled this in the company as our C inaugural CEO, that we always act in the best interest of patients. And this is in the best interest of patients. And I'm glad that the federal government ch has chosen us as a partner to do this. And we hope this is the first of, of many opportunities to collaborate between the public and private sector to solve the affordability and availability issues of, of these essential drugs. And, and it also adds a safety uh, element, right? Because, because drugs made in the United States are going to be under more regulation. They're going to have to be scrutinized more. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about that, that safety issue that you get with this. One of the challenges with an international supply chain of drugs is you often the regulatory environments in China and India and other places are not nearly as robust. I think in success for Civica in the near future is that the overall generic drug market is fair. Civica is not going to make every drug. We don't need to. We don't necessarily want to. 
But when there's an individual market for an individual drug that's failing, we will enter those markets and we will fix them. And by the way, once we enter, we're not leaving them. And so, you know, what success looks like to me is that every drug that is in the public domain is accessible and affordable to everyone at the highest quality. I've heard of Civica Scripps um, was mentioned to me. What, can you tell me a little bit about that? So Civica Script is, uh, is a sister company to Civica, organized on the same principles as Civica Rx. We started Civica Rx on the hospital side. And that's where we've really made that, that we've treated 18 million patients primarily through drugs that are administered in hospital settings. Civica Script is the mechanism where we've brought in large insurance companies, payers, so health insurance companies, because they're the ones who pay the high price for the EpiPen at the end of the day them and their customers. So we're organizing Civica Script in a similar way. How do you organize the market? to really address these failures. And that's, that'll give us the platform to take on uh, the, the real abuses that happen with people who have a chronic disease um, outside of the hospital setting. And we have over 100 million people in that model covered by 22 large payers, large health insurance companies. When you have a patient who is in the hospital and they normally could not afford the medication that they need, or, it was, or there's a shortage of it, and Civica has turned that around, like the, the first patient you talked about. This has happened 18 million times. Tell me how you feel personally when you hear of all these patients getting what they need in the hospital saying, we're good, thank you. When we started coming forward with Civica, the first drug we made was a, was a drug called vancomycin, which is a, a, an antibiotic, really one of the last line defense antibiotics. And, I was able to be in the Riverton Hospital, Riverton, Utah, in September of 2019, the day that the first Civica dose was ever delivered to a patient. It helped save that patient's life, and he was able to go home. The idea of, of alleviating suffering in this way, the, the last thing we want our patients worried about when they've got a loved one in distress is whether or not the medication will be there to save their life. The last thing we want somebody thinking about, they've got a child with a chronic disease, is whether or not they can afford to make their house payment or put food on their table to keep their child alive. Those are the things that, that honestly have motivated literally thousands of people to rally around Civica. I gotta know, where, where does the word Civica come from? <laughs> we tr are trying to build a civic asset, one that's owned by society. And a Corona Civica in the days of ancient Rome, was the laurel wreath that they would put on the head of, of conquering heroes that came back. It was a symbol of the gratitude of the Roman nation. And so the combination of, hey, this is a civic asset, and this is civica itself, could be a, an asset for our entire country that really blesses a lot of lives. The moment I saw that, and frankly, all of us in the room, and there were about a dozen of us who saw that name, it was unanimous. That's the name of this company. And so we're just, we, we love it. We love Civica. We, we, we think it, it says all the right things about what we're trying to do.